statements and reasons statement and reasons dear students we have op is perpendicular to l and oq is perpendicular to l because tangent are always perpendicular to radial segment op is perpendicular to l and oq is perpendicular to n since tangents are always perpendicular to radial segment
and there are two chords AB. There are two chords AB and CD. AB and CD. Join them here. If this is 2.5, definitely this will be 2.5 centimeter. This is also 2.5 centimeter. The length of AB is 1.4 centimeter. These informations are given. Suppose this is X and this is Y. OX is equal to OY because these are the radii of the circle. And OC is equal to OB, radii of the circle. OA is equal to OD, these are also radii of the circle. AB is equal to 1.4 centimeter. Second information which is given to us as the distance between the distance between uh, two chords AB and CB is 3.9 centimeter. Here is yes, this total is three point nine centimeter, and this to, this uh, chord is one point four centimeter. This AB. Remember that you know whenever there is a line segment coming from the center, it is always perpendicular to chord and also it bisects the chord dear students again listen to me carefully whenever there is a line segment from the center intersecting the chord it will be perpendicular to the chord and bisects the chord if it bisects the chord you can check 1.4 will become 0 0.7 and 0 0.7 both will be Here we can have, suppose this is V and this is U. So V and U, this distance between V and U is 3.9 cm. Dear students, you can check, this is 0.7 and this is 2.5 cm. You can check this one is in right triangle in right triangle A O V in right triangle A O V using Pythagoras theorem because we have to find O V then we will find O U and then definitely we will find C U and at the end, our required answer will be CD, that is the length of second chord. CD is the length of second chord. So dear students, in right triangle, it is clear from the figure. It is clear from the figure that AV is the half of A. AV is half of AB, that is half of 1.4, that is 0 0.7 centimeter. In right triangle, AOB using Pythagoras theorem. In right triangle A O B using Pythagoras theorem O A square is equal to A B square plus O B square. What about O A square? This is 2.5 square. A B is 0 0.7 square and O B square we have to find actually O B. 
okay this uh, 2.5 square is uh, 6.25 and this is 0.49 plus OB square. So OB square is equal to 6.25 minus 0.49. So bring this 0.49 to the left hand side and simplify. And you will take the square root on both sides. We will have that will be. 5.76 under root so OB is equal to we can have yes 2.4 centimeter 2.4 centimeter here is 2.4 centimeter so these students here is OB is 2.4 centimeter. So what will be OU? Definitely OU is equal to UV minus OV. OU is equal to UV. UV is 3.9 centimeter. And OV we have from 2.4 centimeter. So dear students, it will be 1.5 centimeter. So OU is 1.5 centimeter. Again, we take right triangle as OUV. Using Pythagoras theorem, we will find CU. So we have, the students we have in right triangle O U C O U C O C square is equal to C U square plus O U square. This is two point five square is equal to CU square plus 1.5 square. Dear students, 2.5 square means 6.25. CU square is equal to 1.5 is 2.25. 1.5 square is 2.25. So 6.25 minus 2.25 is equal to CU square. So this will be 4. CU square is 4 taking square root on both sides. CU is equal to 2. Dear students, you know that OU is perpendicular to CD. Therefore, it bisects CD. So definitely CU is equal to UD. As OU is perpendicular to CD, therefore OU bisects CD. Hence, what will be? CD is equal to double of CU. CD is equal to double of CU. So here is 2 into 2, that is 4 centimeter. So the students the length of the other chord is 4 cm. That was your exercise 10.2. Dear students, after that, we have miscellaneous exercise 10. And in case of miscellaneous exercise 10, we have MCQs. And uh, we will go through it. For example, four possible answers are given for the following questions. 
Take the correct answer the, in the adjacent figure of the circle, the line PTQ. Uh, you know that this is the definition of uh, tangent that it touches the circle only at one point. So we can say PTQ will be equal to a tangent. C option is correct. After that, in a circle with center O, if OT is perpendicular to radius, radial segment, and PTQ is tangent, definitely radial segment is perpendicular to tangent, therefore OT is perpendicular to PQ. This is your correct option. After that, we have in the adjacent figure the semicircular area pi is equal to this, if pi is equal to 3.1417 and O is equal to 20 centimeter, dear students, semicircular area, actually circular area is pi r square and semicircular area is half pi r square. So you will take pi r square and then divide by 2. In this way you will get your correct option as D. And next part is if the adjacent figure the half of the perimeter of circle of O if pi is equal to given and O is equal to 20 centimeter. Dear students, what is meant by half of the perimeter of circle? First of all you must understand what is meant by the perimeter of the circle. Actually perimeter of the circle is the length of circle. Length of circle means circumference of the circle. And you know that the circumference of circle is 2 pi r and its half is 2 pi r over 2. That is known as pi r. This is known as semi length of the circle or you can say semi circle circumference of the circle. So we will have B option correct 62.832. After that, part number 7, a line which has two points in common with the circle is called, remember that this is a circle, this is line, two points in common, remember that it is not line segment, it is line. So line with two points common with the circle that is known as secant, secant of circle. Your correct option is D. Part number 8 is a line which has only one point in common with the circle that is known as tangent to circle. Basically you know this is circle for example. So this is the line which has only one point common. Suppose this is ABC. So A, B, C is tangent to circle because it touches the circle only at one point. It means that there is only one point common between tangent and circle. And here in this line, there are two points common with the, tangent, with the circle and line that is known as secant. Here it is tangent to circle. Tangent to circle. After that, Two tangents drawn to circle from a point outside it are equal in length. Dear student, that uh, is a theorem number 3. That is the statement of theorem number 3. So tangents drawn from the circle point outside it are of equal in length. B option is correct. A circle has only one. Circle has only one center. D option is correct. The tangent line intersects the circle at tangent line intersects the circle at 3 point, 2 point, 1 point, no point, single point, 1 point. The tangent intersects the circle only at 1 point and that is point B which is common of line and circle. 1 point, single point. Tangent drawn at the ends of diameter of circle are dash to each other. Remember that 
we have proved in the previous question 10.1 question number 1 they will be parallel so your correct option is a parallel to each other the distance between center of two tail congruent circles uh, extremely externally the distance between the centers of two congruent touching circles externally is diameter of each circle basically there are two circles and remember that these are two congruent circles they are touching externally so look at that this is radius this is radius if you cut this radius from here and join here because both are seen so what is this this is known as diameter of one circle actually that was Radius of 1 and radius of 2. As they are congruent circles, of 1 and 2 are same. So, in place of this, put here on this portion. So, this will be sum of two radii that is equal to diameter of the circle. After that, part number 14, in the adjacent circular figure with center O and radius as 5 cm, the length of the chord intercepted at 4 cm away. From the center of the circle, the length of the cord intercepted at 4 cm away from that one. So, what will be the length of the cord? Remember that here is, for example, we are given, dear students, uh, this is this is circle. This is circle. Question is, its radius is, what is that? Radius is 5 cm. Radius is 5 cm. There is a chord here. This is the chord. And here will be 4 cm. The question is, what is the length of this? This is called which is given to us. So dear students, check that this is perpendicular because chord and radius are always perpendicular. Chord and radius are always perpendicular. This is 5, this is 4. Length of the chord. Actually, we have to find A B suppose. And this is suppose O and this is C. We have to find A. So dear students, in right triangle OAC, applying Pythagoras theorem, opposite to 90 degrees, this is always hypotenuse. So 5 square is equal to 4 square plus AC square. 5 square is 25, 4 square is 16, it is shifted to left hand side, that is 16, the 9 is equal to AC square, taking under root on both sides, AC is equal to 3, so AC is equal to 3, so dear students, if AC is 3, then BC is also 3, because both are same, both are equal, so this total is 6 cm, so what is the length of chord? That is 6 cm, that is the correct option is B. After that, part number 15, in the adjacent figure, there is a circle with center at O and DC is parallel to AB. An angle AOC is 120 degree, then angle ACD. Then angle ACD will be. Dear students, just like uh, this, these questions, we will draw it and solve. You must know about the logic of your answer. That if it is true, then why it is true? You must know. And if something is wrong, why it is wrong? Here is a circle. Here is a circle with center O.
what is given a o b and this is c d c and d that one we are given we are given angle a o c angle a o c is equal to 1 more 20 degree angle a o c is equal to 120 degree and condition is that dc parallel to ab dc dc parallel to ab and angle a o c is equal to 120 degree so what is the angle a c o what is the angle a c d a c d yes what is the angle a c d dear students check that here is 120 degree what is this angle a b is parallel to c d then angle b o c is equal to angle b c o what is the angle d c o yes you know that this total angle is 180 this total angle is 180 at the center and this is 120 so you can check if this is 120 what is the remaining angle this is 60 degree if this angle is 60 degree what will be angle dco it will also be 60 degree because they are alternate angle for two parallel lines okay angle cob angle dco they are congruent they are equal because they are alternate angles of parallel lines but in triangle aoc what is the angle remember that triangle like this we have we have like that the students you can check here from this is not one degree remember that oc is congruent to oa oc congruent to oa why they are radii of same circle radii of same circle if the radii of same circles definitely these sides are equal their opposite angle will also be equal if their opposite angles are equal opposite to this side oc this angle is equal opposite to oa this angle is equal so dear students this is 120 and here suppose this is angle x and y and x and x is equal to y both angles are same because two sides are same if two sides are same their opposite angles are same so if opposite angles are same you can write down x equal to y so here is x there is x is y is equal to x also so what will be x plus x plus 120 is equal to 180 sum of three angles of triangle is equal to 180 so 2x is equal to 180 minus 120 that is 60 and x is equal to 60 by 2 is equal to 30 degree dear students this is 30 degree if this angle aco is 30 degree so what will be angle acd definitely it will also be 30 degree so your correct option is 30 angle acd is equal to 30 degree so here with that uh, we have finished that one uh, chapter number 10 dear students alhamdulillah we have finished our chapter number 10 okay you can revise this mcqs and these are a little bit uh, uh, question which you have to solve them and there are steps involved for solving to reach the correct answer
Do it at home. If you have any problem, you can contact me.